Now we're going to talk about multiplying exponents and we'll start off by explaining multiplying exponents with the same base. So problems like this, a squared times a cubed and notice both of these are base a. So we're multiplying exponents with the same base. Now to do this remember what an exponent means. a squared means a times a. That 2 there in the exponent position means we multiply a by itself. It's not a times 2, it's a multiplied by itself and there's a total of two factors. And likewise, a cubed, a to the power of 3, means a times a times a. A total of three factors because it's a cubed. Now that means that a squared times a cubed has to be this because that's a squared times this. So it has to be a times a times a times a times a. And here we have a multiplied by itself five times. So that has to be a to the fifth or a to the power of five. And take note this two right here and this 3 right there and this 5 right there. The fact that 2 and 3 add up to 5 is not a coincidence. Now let's look at this example. x to the fifth times x squared. Okay, and let's work that out. We'll expand each of these. x to the fifth is x times x times x times x times x. And then we're multiplying that by x squared, which is x times x. And you should be able to see that we have 5x's and 2x's all multiplied together. That's 7x's all multiplied together, so that has to be x to the power of 7, because that's what that power of 7 means. That's just a shorthand notation for all of that. So x to the 5 times x to the power of 2 gives me x to the power of 7. And, and note that 5 plus 2 gives me the 7. Okay, let's do another. What if I have y times y to the fourth? Well, this first y here, I'll just rewrite it, and that's multiplied by y to the fourth. And the y to the fourth is y times y times y times y. And you can see we have five y's multiplied together. So that's y to the fifth. And notice that this y right here could be thought of as y to the power of one and then we also have a y to the fourth. And the one right here, which is unwritten, although we could write it if we wanted to, the one and the four add up to five. And if you understand that pattern, then you should be able to do these relatively quickly. x to the 10 times x to the 10, well, what will that be? Well, instead of writing it all out, x times x times x times x and so on, I'm just going to look at these exponents, 10 and 10, and I note that I'm multiplying these two together, and they have the same base. They're both, they're both base x, so I can just add the exponents. This ends up being x to the 20. Or this one, if I have a to the 100 times a to the 5, I don't want to write all that out and then count them up. I can just say that the 100 and the 5 are going to add up to 105 and the answer is a to the power of 105. As long as these two, two things that I'm multiplying, I'm multiplying these two exponents and they have the same base, they're both base a, then I can simply add the two exponents. The 100 and the 5 add up to 105. And 2 to the fifth times 2 cubed the base here doesn't have to be a variable, it can be a number. 2 to the 5th times 2 cubed will be 2 to the 8th. And 2 to the 8th is just a number. It's 2 times 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 2. That works out to 256. Okay, we've been looking at some specific examples, but we can state the concept as a general rule. And the rule is this when multiplying two exponents with the same base, 
the exponents get added and that's exactly what we've been doing in those examples so we can write that general rule in mathematical form like this we could say a to the m times a to the n equals a to the power of m plus n and a could be any number or any variable or any mathematical expression and as long as they have the same base as long as they're both base a then whatever exponent we have here and whatever exponent we have here those just get added up to be the exponent on our answer all right now we'll use these concepts to simplify these expressions the first one's pretty easy 3x cubed times 3x squared in your mind you can think of that as 3 times x cubed times x squared and you don't necessarily have to write that step but if you realize that this 3 and the x cubed are just multiplied together and the 3 is not cubed it's only the x that's cubed but if you realize that those are just factors all three of those things and here they are then we see that these two exponents have the same base so I can just add the exponents that ends up being 3 times x to the fifth this next one could be rewritten as 6 times x times 4 times x cubed and in my mind I multiply the 6 and the 4 those and I get 24 and when I multiply the x and the x cubed that gives me an x to the fourth because this x remember is really an x to the one you could put in that one if you want to and the one and the three add up to the four so my answer is 24 x to the fourth All right, this next example 5x cubed times ax squared I'm going to rewrite this and I'm going to rearrange it in the process. I'm going to rewrite it as 5 times a times x cubed times x cubed. So I had my 5x cubed times my ax cubed and I just rearranged it like that. And my 5 and my a are just going to stay here as a 5a in my answer. And my x cubed times x cubed becomes x to the power of 6. I have 5a x to the sixth is my answer and in this this one 3 x squared times 4 y cubed well I'm going to multiply my 3 and my 4 that gives me a 12 and then my x cubed and my y cubed those have different bases one of them is an x and one of them is a y so I can't just add up the 2 and the 3 right there the rule says the exponents can be added if they have a same base if they have the same base and they don't in this case so they each stay just as an x squared and a y cubed the 3 and the 4 multiplied to give me the 12 but my answer is just 12 x squared y cubed and I can't simplify it any further